So I know I'm unbelievably late when it comes to reviewing this movie, and I'm going to try to keep it short, compact, and spoiler-free, but if for some reason, if you're somehow one of the 12 people who haven't seen this movie yet, go watch this movie. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. Like I said, just gonna have a little review, little talk through of the movie uh, Demon Slayer and the Mugen Train arc or the Infinity Train arc. I don't really specifically know how it translates. Um, hopefully I can keep this nice, short, and concise uh, and a few minutes long and completely spoiler free. A lot of you guys have requested that I talk about it. Shouts out to James and A1. You guys are my boys. I see you guys all the time. You guys are amazing. But with that being said, I'm gonna... I'm going to go into a little bit more details in a couple of minutes, but as of right now, I just want to say I thought the movie was amazing, spectacular. It blew my expectations out of the water. Like literally, I was expecting good things going into it, but I was not expecting what I got. It was just absolutely incredible. Now, uh, like I said, I want to keep it nice and concise and short, so I'm going to do like a little mini list of pros and cons because it was a lot more pros than there were of cons, but some of my pros include Ren Goku in and of itself. If you uh, if you even had a glimpse of or you thought you might like him in the season one when you got a little a little hint of him or his character, then this movie will do you wonders. He is easily in my top three, top one favorite characters in Demon Slayer. Like he is oh so up there for the his personality, design, character traits fight style so many different reasons why he is just up there and he truly is an inspirational figure in anime and i love those kind of characters you know that i can literally find real life inspiration from and you know like i genuinely want to say set your heart ablaze all the time if you guys it's not a spoiler obviously but if you guys know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about set your heart ablaze ren goku incredible so glad he was the hashira of this movie uh, i know because i've seen the season two trailer teaser that the sound hashira the one who's always talking about flamboyance is going to be i'm guessing the main hashira of season two so i'm so glad they're directing these individual arcs with a hashira like we had shinobu and giyu on the last one with the mountain this is i just love that aspect of demon slayer because i've ever since that one episode where they ended with the hashira i've always wanted to see oh i want to know so much more so ren goku amazing aspect of this movie i must say ufo table absolutely killed it i i could totally see why some people would say this didn't need to be a movie this could be a TV, you know this could be just the continuation of the demon slayer show but for this specific arc and the budget that it needed to have some of these amazing scenes come to life i think ufo table murdered it this movie has easily some of the best animation my eyes have ever seen i've watched certain parts because i don't know how but they're uploaded on youtube and hd like fucking 1080p i've watched certain parts of this movie 10 times and it's only been a few days since I've seen the movie, you know, this is just, it's just, it's fucking incredible, the animation. So the next uh, pros are kind of a mix of the two, because obviously the fights are incredible. Demon Slayer has never been one without creative and super breathtaking fights, but that mixed with the sound, the sound effects, especially because this isn't, they, they had to elevate certain things beyond the, the TV show generals because this is a movie like i said the animation is amazing in the show but i'm glad they gave it that movie type budget that it needed because this works so well with it that goes the same hand in hand with sound the soundtrack the the, the orchestral chorus whatever they fucking did they played a lot of similar songs that you've heard before that were just ooh, and they played a uh, they, the soundtrack and the lack of sound in certain spots there was no oh i, I don't even want to get into it because i really started going into spoilers i don't really want to do that but Fights, soundtrack, so many of the visual, the sensory feels of this movie are just immaculate and, and crazy. I loved it so much. Um, one of my only nitpicks slash cons, and it's not specifically with this movie, like this movie didn't really have this issue and, and it does most definitely, but it's not, I can't blame this individual movie for it. It's more of an issue with Demon Slayer as a whole and the shonen genre. But the pacing at certain parts of this movie and Demon Slayer, like I said, as a whole, felt a little, I don't want to say rush, but felt a little quick. If you know, like I said, no spoilers, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. A certain, certain instance just happens and it's just like, whoa, you know, you know, but, uh, I would say that's my only real con slash gripe with this is just 
that really felt abrupt to me out of nowhere but something that felt really weird to me that i can't really place into the pros or cons category and i have this written down in my notes because i wanted to i was gonna have if you guys don't know i saw this with a few friends of mine i was gonna have a live review like coming out of the movie theater like you know as soon as we're done fresh off the mind all that say what we feel me and the boys but we ended up getting out of the movie theater at like 1.30 a.m. So we were shot tired. We just went home, went to bed. Um, so like I said, this is a couple days in the future. I had time to process all that jazz. You know, it just, it just it does feel great. This movie was incredible. But the only part that I could not mix into pros or cons, and I have this written down, it just says it feels like Demon Slayer. And to go more into that, this movie, even though it was a movie, felt exactly like demon slayer to the point where i was watching the movie and i'm not even joking with you guys i was like okay that was a good episode i could totally see that where they put the ending right here where they leave the cliffhanger have a little preview of the next one show the opening for the next one like it literally felt like six or five five to seven i couldn't really tell specifically five to seven episodes literally just back to back to back kind of like the first clone wars movies that came out for star wars the clone wars the animated show literally felt like just episodes back to back which is a good thing because you don't want demon slayer to not feel like demon slayer like that is authentic demon slayer you have your little mini arcs you know goes like a roller coaster you go in your motions but also you go into a movie expecting a movie type experience you know like just a little more what feels like cohesion in those spots the and, and this like i said seems super biased i shouldn't really be nitpicking this movie was incredible but the only other movie anime movie that i've seen in theaters was akira and that was an experience i will never forget for the rest of my life like that i can still visually i can picture i can picture things you know it's just it was it was breathtaking but it it just felt like a movie versus this it felt like a high budgeted demon slayer tv show in a movie theater ex experience just where someone edited the, the ending and openings just to be connected you know it's which isn't bad it was amazing i love demon slayer to death that was just such a weird thing to me that i was literally sitting there and i could see where the episode would end i don't know i don't know like i said nitpicks guys i've ranted on this is probably already longer than i wanted to make it i was hoping this would be less than five minutes but if i had to give this movie a number out of ten I would give it a solid, a solid nine, maybe even like a nine and a half. And I don't really have a set criteria. I've never done like a movie review in, to in ever before, actual, actually. If I had to give a list of critiques or, or a list of things that we go off, it's like enjoyability, first time enjoyability, rewatchability, you know, like visual appeal, sound, you know, I, I don't really have a set list. It's just all around does it hit those marks in this movie does amazing in almost every one of those categories like i said there's a couple where it's just like it's demon slayer what can you do people hate on demon slayer for being a demon slayer i love demon slayer for being demon slayer but oh fantastic movie go watch it guys thank you guys for watching this leave a like if you enjoyed let me know your thoughts down below i will see you guys in the next video peace out dapper squad